In Lower Manhattan, a local family has been making fresh pasta since 1906. Rolling manicotti, which is a cheese-filled tube of pasta that you bake in an oven. I'm Andrew Raffetto, third generation owner of Raffetto's Fresh Pasta. And I'm Sarah Raffetto, the oldest of the fourth generation. It started in 1906 by my grandfather, Marcello Raffetto. My grandfather was from a little town outside of Genoa, up in the hills, you know, 15 kilometers in from the, uh, the coast. In 1920, he bought this building, and for that, we're very grateful. It was a lot of fun to be in this building because I both lived in it and my dad worked in it, so I would Because there's an apartment upstairs that you really live. lived upstairs. And being a kid, like, getting to know the staff, eating pasta all the time, like, the smells of the dough, the smells of the sauces. One of the greatest thrills for me is to have a 80 to 9 year old man come in, an Abrid guy who could have been my little league coach too, one of those guys, and come in and say, you know, I remember watching that cut noodle cutter when I was a kid. We adjust it on the machine and we can cut anywhere from linguine, which is the thinnest, all the way down to the hand cut parpadelli. That's my favorite. Yeah, me too. Entire families will come in and you'll see multiple generations that want to perpetuate those traditions that they're grandparents, great-grandparents, instilled by coming for the meat and spinach ravioli or the manicotti. Everyone is part of this West Village, Greenwich Village community. In terms of your relationship, you probably have to have a pretty strong bond to be able to work with your family. Even though we disagreed on things on rare occasions, I feel so lucky because to be working in a place that you love, with people that you love and get along with and make every day fun. What do you hope for the future of Rivetto's? Between my brother and I, we have eight children. You hope <laughs> someone's a lawyer, doctor, policeman, but you can't split the profits eight. eight ways. We do okay, but not enough for, for eight.